hey guys welcome back to my channel as i mentioned in my last video i am going to be decluttering my makeup my friend Catman will be so proud of me because it's a long time coming so if you didn't see my last vlog here is all my makeup we will be decluttering today um it's a lot and as you can see anyway let's get started i'm not excited about giving things away but you know what it's fine we're starting fresh getting rid of products i don't even touch by the way this is only going to be the products that i use in these acrylic drawers i'll probably do a makeup palette decluttering video the next time well i'm coming up with more video ideas as i keep coming along so let's get started just decluttering so we have these five primers that i'm going to be keeping i did have some travel size ones and what i do with all, what i'm going to do with all my travel size makeup that is not um ooh, how rude all my travel size makeup that i'm going to put in this bag that i got from target about two years ago it was during the christmas sale so i got my initial i also got them for my cousins as well so the five primers i decided to keep is this dr brandt need no more baggage deep puffing gel honestly i could just put this in my bathroom but i think because it's more makeup related i'm gonna keep it with my makeup the next thing i'm gonna keep is the elf professional putty primer this is a dupe for the um tatcha luminous silk canvas foundation or primer i haven't tried it yet because your girl is broke um this again excuse my nails i will paint them sometime but this is my tried and true the smashbox photo finish foundation primer i've used this for you highly recommend um if you can't afford the smashbox one i recommend the angel veil um or the elf poreless face primer now the reason why i have so many primers is because whenever i'm out sometimes i forget a primer so instead of being logical and using my friend's primer i just go out and buy them don't be me guys don't be so this is not technically a primer but i decided to put it in this video because i do use it for my makeup this is the strobe cream by mac in the color peach light i do like it because it does give my skin an additional glow on the days where i don't want to wear makeup as you can see it looks like this and then you just blend it in and it gives you like a nice iridescent look. So I do recommend it for those that want a, like a no makeup makeup day. So next we have my foundations and then I do have this CC cream that I've never used, nor do I think I will use it. Um, I have to do some more research on it, but I'm gonna give you an update on whether or not i will use um the cc cream it just depends on what it does so more to follow on this but it is going into the travel size makeup as for my foundation as you can see i have a total of 10 foundations three from the same brand one not because i did buy this foundation when i forgot my um whole makeup kit at home but i do like the can't stop won't stop i like that it has a pump it's a glass bottle which these three are glass bottles and pumps the l'oreal ones are just squeezy tubes um i don't think i'm gonna repurchase the um l'oreal foundation solely because the color range is not the best for brown skin girls like us the other ones i do like nars is my go-to foundation um it is a little pricey it's about like 30 to 40 dollars um i'll probably put like a little card about how much that each of the foundations are along with the primers as well if you want a good dupe i do recommend the maybelline foundation however this is matte 
whereas the NARS one is more of a radiant finish. Um, if you're not really into the matte look, try the Can't Stop Won't Down foundation. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Next, we're moving on to concealers. Again, Homegirl has a lot of concealers. I will be getting rid of these, just not now. Um, as you can see, out of the 10 concealers, I have this lone one. I did get this when I forgot my makeup. The Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation uh, Concealer. I haven't really tried it enough to say if I like it or not. Um, I will give you guys more information on what I like about it, what I don't like about it. The LA Pro Concealers. I like the formula. I don't like the fact that it has a squeezy tube. If they had it in like the doe foot application, 10 out of 10 would recommend um, you guys using it. It's just for me, it gets all over the place and it's not really consistent in where the placement is going to be. Um, now, you'll see I have two high end, or not two, but you see I have two different high end concealers, Tarte and NARS. You can see the NARS ones are the travel size. I just wanted to try it out to see if I like it. Um, it's more for like a natural, everyday look. I wouldn't recommend it if you're trying to go full out. That's where these babies come in. The Tarte Shape Tape. Everybody should have the Tarte Shape Tape in the collection. Like, hands down, the best concealer I've ever used. It's not too cakey, and I like it because when I'm going full glam, I don't have any issues with it. Um, I do like the NARS concealer. These are the Radiant Creamy Concealers. But again, when I wear makeup, it's usually when I'm going out. It's, I don't know if it's just because I have the travel size where I don't feel like I'm getting enough product. But um, these are my go-to. Now here are all my powders. Um, whether it be translucent powders, um, color from tone, like a colory tone powder, banana powder. So we're gonna go through each one and I'm gonna let you know whether I'm going to keep it or put it on display or just put it in the little bag. So the first thing that's gonna, that caught my eye is the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Release Powder. I did have the full size one and I did love it. Um, this is just a travel size one because I did run out of the full size. No, full size is right here. So I am going to keep both of them. Um, Howard, this is gonna go into my um, travel size bag. Next we have the Derma Blend Professional Loose Setting Powder. I haven't used this yet. I mean, it's open, but I did hear good things about it. And because it is a travel size, I probably got it when I order makeup online from either Sephora or Ulta. So this will go into my travel size bag. This no-name powder has been with me since college. Um, this is the RCMA No Color Translucent Powder. Now you may be asking, Francesca, why isn't it in the original packaging? Because it sucks. It's the worst packaging. It's in like this seasoning. You know, like if you see salt seasoning or like if you're going to the grocery store and you see all the spices, it's in those type of bottles. And it wasn't really perfect for like sticking in your sponge, your, your brushes to get the product out. So I went on Amazon and I got this little um, powder container. It does come with a sifter. Um, it came with two, so I gave the second one to my best friend because we both had the RCMA No Color Translucent Powder. And I find that having it in this bottle or container was way more efficient to get the powder out because it doesn't leave any flashback. It's really good with melting into the skin. So if RCMA, if you're listening, please change the packaging of the translucent powder because I really enjoy it. Um, next we have the Laura Mercier translucent, pow translucent powder. Um, this is a deluxe sample. I'm not going to put this into my bag of samples solely because it is a little bit bigger than um, a regular sample. So this will go into my bag. I thoroughly enjoy this foundation powder. Um, again, it doesn't leave any flashbacks, so um, it's just gonna stay. 
Next we have the ColourPop Banana uh, No Filter Setting Powder. As you can see, I have not used it yet. I do plan on using it, so I may do a try it um, try on video just to see how it works where throughout the day and see how I like it. Now we have the Fenty Beauty um, Trans oh, Pro Filter Powder in Honey. Let me tell you about this. So when I first heard about Fenty Beauty coming out with powders, I was excited yet nervous because I wasn't really a fan of her foundation. So because I have a combination skin, and so it just didn't sit well with my complexion. Um, so when she came out the powders, I was like, okay, let me give it a try. The first time I bought the deluxe sample, I got the wrong color. I got like super dark and. I am not super dark. Um, so when I got the right color, I do like it. I like it to set it all around my face, not under my eyes, because I like to use either a translucent or a lighter powder just so I can brighten up my under eyes. But I do recommend this. Oh, now we have a baby uh, Laura Mercier translucent powder. Going into the sample bag. Next, we have Cody Airspun. If you know Cody Airspun, you know it's a very powdery see i took out the sifter on mine because sifters are hit or miss for me and if you know cody guys when it has like a specific smell and for me it kind of reminds me of my grandma because she or my mom she had like a powder in her house that had a, a specific smell and it kind of smelled like the cody Airs one, but not exactly so whenever i open it it just gives me memories of her Next, we have the NYX Studio HD um, Powder in the color Translucent. Again, this was a purchase when I forgot all my makeup. So maybe I'll do a full face of NYX products to see if I like them or not. I do like their lippies. NYX has great lippies. Last powder that I will be keeping is the Maybelline Fit Me Translucent Powder in the color Medium Deep. I do like this powder. It's a little dark for me, so I normally use this during the summer. Um, as you can see, it's a lot a bit messy, um, but I do recommend it for those girls who are about my same skin color, skin tone. I'm more of like a, a medium to light deep, um, depending on what season we're talking about. So yeah, that's all for my palettes. Next, we have bronzers. I don't really contour. I do have the Kat Von D Contour and Light palette. I'm gonna get into that palette in probably in a different video, um, solely because I'm just focusing on the makeup products that are going into those acrylics I showed you in my last video. So you can see I have eight bronzers. Now, most girls shouldn't have eight bronzers. I do because I have a problem. Um, so the first bronzer I'm going to pick up is the Hoola Benefit Bronzer. Um, I do like it. It is, let's be honest, it is a little bit too light for me. And I, even though it is a travel size, I think I'm just going to give it away to maybe a friend who might be interested in the Hoola Bronzer in the specific color. So this is going into my donation pile. First makeup in the donation pile. Whoo! Next, we have the Hula Caramel. I do like this one because this is in my color. It's not too dark, not too bright. Oh, I still have the plastic on it. <laughs> yeah. um, so I will be keeping this one. Next, we have the two Fenty Beauty bronzers. We have Caramel Cutie, which looks like that, and Island Ting. Now the reason why I have two bronzers is for when I'm to my two different colors. I am three different colors, but um, depending on the season. But the um, caramel cutie I can use during the summertime because I don't get, I don't think I'm gonna get that dark. Thanks, Miss Rona. Um, I did like Island Team. It is more of a natural bronzer, um, so if you're more fair than I am, you would definitely like that. Next we have my Color Pop bronzer um you will see a lot of color pop i am obsessed with color pop it's the best brand that i have come to know um this is the bronzer in opening act doesn't say on the back i had to pop it out the pan before um 
just to make sure it was the what color it is i do like it it's not too harsh of a bronzer so i do recommend this next we have this matte uh, bronzer from nyx in the color deep tan looks like that i think i still have the film on this one too don't know how to take it off but um i do like this bronzer especially during the summer when i am my darkest now my tried and truths which i will always repurchase even though i do like the fenty beauty bronzers they're kind of hard to get out of the pan so these are the becca sunlit bronzers i have ipanina sun and bronze bond bronze bondi this is what bronze bondi looks like and this is Eponium Suns. I mostly use this one when I am darker. Um, this is my lighter bronzy. As you can tell, you can't really see the indents like how you do in this one. So yeah, I am gonna keep these bronzers. Um, so these will go into my collection. Next we have blushes. Um, as you can see, I have a ton of blushes, um, but I think it is time to retire some of these blushes. Um, so the first two blushes I want to talk about is the Burt's Bees blushes. I have the color Toasted Cinnamon and Bare Peach. Sorry, I don't have my glasses on so I can't really see what they say. Um, I do like these brush blushes. They're not too powdery, so that's a good thing. As you can see, I do really like this one. Um, and I think I, yeah, I do dabble in this one. So these ones I will keep. Milani Luminoso. If you don't have Milani Luminoso in your collection, go get it. It's the best big blush from Milani. I do like this one. Romantic Rose from Milani is also a good blush, but it's not as good as Luminoso. 10 out of 10 will recommend Luminoso. So this is ColourPop's Drop of a Hat um, blush. Um, is their Super Shock Cheek. Looks like this. Uh, it's like a a very like rosy more like a rose gold color i do like this i did get this for my birthday for my brother um he's helping me with my makeup addiction as you can see it's a really pretty color so that's a keep i'm trying to think yeah i think it's time to retire this one so this is the bare minerals blush in the color rose quartz i also have joyous jennifer I got these when I first started wearing makeup. If you didn't have Bare Minerals when you were younger, girl, what are you doing? Um, yeah, I think it's time to retire both these blushes. They've been with me for so long, um, since I was in eighth grade, dating myself. So I don't think I'm gonna give these to anybody. I think I'm just going to throw them away. Next, we have my two NARS blushes. We have Orgasm and we have uh, Madly. I'm gonna definitely keep madly as one of the blushes i keep i don't know i really love orgasm it's the same color as a drop of a hat however i'm having issues just getting the product out of the pan i don't know if i have a dud or what so maybe i'll keep it maybe i won't we'll see um next are two three other color pop blushes um first we have so retrograde which is an orangey color blush that i'm keeping next we have i need space which is more of like a muted pinky color and then my sun and stars which is a hot coral color um those look really great on me next we have this kiko blush in soft touch blush yeah it's time to throw this one away i got that when i was in spain so that has to go Next is this Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in the color Party. Looks like this. I'm going to keep it because I do like this blush. Also, I got that as a birthday gift a few years ago from Sephora. So, I mean, I am whittling it down, guys. Be proud of me. Here's every girl's favorite thing to talk about. Highlighter! So, as you can see, I do have a ton of highlighters um so let's get started with the one i have the most of these are the maybelline master chrome highlighters i have the colors molten gold uh molten peach sorry this is molten rose gold 
molten gold and molten topaz i do love these colors as you can tell um i haven't dabbled no rose gold i have touched a lot i do touch gold i think this is my second gold one that i got so these definitely a keep next we have my two becca highlighters and if you can guess which ones i have i'll give you about five seconds all right put in the comments down below to guess which colors i have so i have becca's champagne pop and prosecco pop i do love these as you can tell i do tap in them a lot so these are a keep next highlighters i will be keeping are the mega go highlights from wet n wild i don't know if they make these anymore so i apologize in advance so here is ooh, crown my canopy and golden flower golden flower crown look how pretty these are Ugh, love it another tried and true laura geller gilded honey how many of you remember this look look at this can't give that up love it my three color pop highlighters um i do like these as you can tell these ones have been loved so this is fire i don't think they make this anymore but look at that so pretty next is on the cusp this one's a little light for me but i still like it for that pop and then the last one is one of the colors that i got from that collection my brother got me is goody to shoe <laughs> it looks like that as you can tell i do like my gold highlights next we have the dosa colors desi and katie collection this is chasing the sun as you can see i do like that one keeping that and this is the smashbox palette from casey holmes this is the spotlight in gold look at that I haven't really touched it because I kind of forget that I have it, but I do love this. So, looks like I'm not getting rid of any highlighters. So, we're gonna have to put these away. All right, so now we have my eyebrow products. I have two, I have the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil and the Anastasia Beverly, Hill, Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the color Dark Brown. And with precisely my brow my brow i have a color three i do have other colors in the precisely my brow because i got it um during the sale for um ulta i think it was like their big um anniversary sale the brow is is my tried and true even though i do like the precisely my brow it's a little not it's easy to use but it caused my eyebrows to turn like not red but it gets irritated so i'm going to use up all these products and probably not repurchase it definitely will repurchase the brow was love it love it so love i did it. another eyebrow product i forgot to mention it is anastasia beverly hills clear brow gel i'm not going to keep it because i feel like it doesn't really do anything with my brows so um anything that has to do with brows or eyes or lips i'm just going to toss it i don't like the idea of giving someone products that I already used that I put on my mouth or eyes. Um, face is different because you can sanitize that. Eyes, lips, not so much. So, goodbye. Now on to eyeliners. I have a few eyeliners here. Um, the first one I have is Overboard. It is a cream gel liner. It's a bronzy color from ColourPop. I am gonna keep this because I do love their gel liners. Next, I have the L'Oreal Carbon Black Telescopic Liquid Liner. I got this because I did a Halloween look, like a skeleton look. Um, I do like it. I don't think I will be repurchasing this. We'll keep it just in case I do more Halloween looks. Next, I have the Cream Gel Liner Honeydew. Um, this is also ColourPop. I, it's like a beige liner, keeping that. Next is Bitto Honey from ColourPop. It's another cream gel liner. It's like a purpley color brown. Definitely keeping this. I think I might have another eyeliner. Hold on. Uh, it's 
do, I do, I do. I have several. I pop these in here as well. Um, so the next one I have is the Bare Minerals Big Bright Eyeliner and Espresso. I think I'm just gonna toss it. I had had this since I was in eighth grade, so it's gotta go. Next is the Mark Jacobs Highliner Gel Eye Crayon in the color Brown Out. I love the Marc Jacobs eyeliners. They're nice and creamy and they just work well with my eyes. Next we have Mr. Bing from ColourPop. It's a brown eyeliner. Love that. I do like how they have the whole color of, this is the older model. I kind of like with the new model, it's all one color so you can see what it is. Next is Get Paid. It's a like champagne rosy color liner. Next we have Stubborn Brown, the MAC PowerPoint Eye Pencil. I do like this. It's a nice brown color. I'm keeping that. Next is the ColourPop Cream Gel Eyeliner in the color Exit. Every person needs a white eyeliner for their inner waterline just so it can make your eyes pop next we have this matte color it's the eye coal in the color smolder this has seen better days but i'm almost out of it so i'm gonna keep it definitely have to sharpen it before i use it again next we have the another mark jacobs highlight gel crown in the color black i think this is my second purchase of this because i went through it um and then we have this Wet n Wild Color Icon High Coal Eyeliner in the color. What color are you? Ah, Calling Your Bluff. So it's another new liner. And then I have a backup of the Get Paid liner. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the backup in my travel makeup and then put the rest in my drawers. And if it doesn't fit in my drawers, then I'll put, I have another container. Um, down here that I'll put it in. Next we have eyeshadow primer. So I have two. I have the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion in the color Eden. This is my tried and true. Well, not the specific color, but just the Urban Decay primer potions in general. I've used the original one since I started wearing makeup. Um, I do like the color Eden. I think I might just go back to the original one because this is a little too light for me, but it, I don't know. It's like a hit or miss either I'm gonna go back to the original or stick with Eden but overall I do like the product so this is the P Louise um, eye base in the color 4 I haven't used this yet because I still have this so once I run out of this I'm gonna try this out I'm not sure if I'm gonna like it because it is a squeezy tube I'm more into like the doe foot applicator itself when it comes to my eye makeup look so we'll see next i have my color pop super shock eyeshadows um i haven't used these in a while so i'm just gonna keep all of them as you can see some of them i have touched a lot i really do like the super shock formula it's very creamy um and they're really not that expensive so not getting rid of any of these now we're on to like a cream base shadows. So this is the tar chrome paint in the color Beach Bay. I do like this one. Look how pretty this is. I haven't used it much because I need to figure out what kind of eye look I'm going to use for it. But I do like this. Next is the Stila Shimmer and Glow um, Eyeshadow Pigment in the color Pygmalion. Honestly, when I got this, I thought this was going to be more the glitter one. I don't think I'm going to keep it. Even though it is pretty, I don't know. We'll see. I mean, look how pretty that is. I mean, I'll just we'll keep it. Because maybe I will use it one day. So we'll see. And then the next two, I do use a lot. So these are the ColourPop Super... Nova Shadows in the color Astrology and Constellation. These are so pretty. Like this is what I thought the other thing would be. See how like how shimmery this is? So that's Constellation. And then that's Astrology. See? 
they have more of a shine to it but this is more it has some sort of a shine but it's more of a matte type look so we'll have to play around with these and see which ones i like so here's all my loose pigments and glitters so i'm definitely keeping these ones because these are the color pop kathleen lights collection um these are her zodiac pigments i love these i use these all the time so definitely not keeping these up these two however are from mac i do reach for this one but it's not something i gravitate towards nor do i gravitate towards these because it's more loose glitters and it's kind of hard to use so into the trash they go this one I'm keeping because I use this for my lower lash line. This is the MAC Extended Giga Play Lash in the color... I don't know what color this is. I just know it's the black one. I do like this for my lower lash mascara because it makes them long and it doesn't clump them up. I know I said for all my miniatures, I'm going to keep them in my little um, travel size bag. And I am. Um, I think, but I'm going to put all my mascaras in here because I like to test them out to see which ones I like. So currently I'm using the Laura Mercier um, Caviar Volume Mascara and I do like it. It's nice. Um, this is what the wand looks like. It's like a, it's like a, oh, like a, like a spiral shape with like a flat top. So I do like that. Um, let me show you the wand for the... Um, extended gig of that so it's very thin and like very small so it'll grab all the lower lashes so I'm just gonna put all of these into my travel size makeup bag until um, I run out of this one so that way I can try each one and then I'll give you guys an update on which mascara I like maybe on my Instagram in the life of France so don't forget to follow me on there um, so yeah Next we have our glitter glues and eyelash um, glues. So I have the NYX glitter glue. Uh, I do like this. I don't think I have, I mean, the only time I will use is it with my loose glitters that I just toss. So if I were to buy more loose glitters, I'll definitely use this. Um, but I think I'm gonna give this to one of my friends to see if they would like it. If so, I can just give it to them. So here are my lash glues. So I only use Duo because I am allergic to latex, so I do need a latex glue. I did use the Duo latex version, and it just caused my eyes to be really irritated. So the, this is the one I like. Um, I got this two-ended one when I thought I lost this one, um, but I do like the way it is non-latex, so I would definitely recommend this. Next, we have my lashes. So you can see I have a lot of lashes. Um, I have the Ardell Demi Wispies that I use a lot. This is like the four pack. Um, these House of Lashes Iconic Light, House of Lashes Allure Light, and then um, Demi Wispy um, Foaming Lashes. Amethyst House of Lashes Sephora Collection Aquamarine Rose Quartz. I do love lashes. I only wear them when I go out, but I need to start practicing them. So I don't think I'm going to use these guys to practice because these were $12 and we're not going to waste those. But definitely I'll probably do the Demi Wispies and maybe these ones because they are drugstore. And I can use practice to put these on and cutting these down. So if I'm going to go out... I think I'll shoot videos using these ones. Maybe even a YouTube, um, not YouTube, a IGTV video. I haven't done one of those. Um, let me know if you're interested in seeing an IGTV because I think that'd be really cool to shoot. So now it's time for lip liners. The way I'm going to do the lip liners is if I'm not a big fan of the brand, I'm just gonna toss it. Um, I think that's what I'm going to do with my lipsticks as well because I have a ton of them. So ColourPop I'm keeping. As you can tell, I know my ColourPop liners. So these are keeps. I'm not a big fan of Revlon, so honey, you can go. And like I said before, I'm just going to toss all my product my lip products because I'm 
I don't want to give my lip products to someone that um, if I used it, it's just uh, it's just weird for me. NYX I'm keeping because I do like their lip liners. So these two. So this is the NYX color lip liner in um, the color beige and their um, slide on lip glider in um, nude suede shoes. Love these two. Wet n Wild, I do love their gel liner, so I'm definitely keeping these three. And again, they're in that nudie family. This is the Essence lip liner. Love the Essence lip liner. They're very affordable and they have great liners. Because I have two, because I thought I lost this one, this is going into that travel bag with all my um, duplicates. Next, we have my MAC lip liners. We're keeping these bad boys because I paid a lot of money for them and I'm going to use them up. I will be repurchasing some of the colors. As you can see, I do have more of like a nude family here, but yeah, they're all staying. This is the Joint Blue lip liner and the Ulta 3. Yeah, not keeping these because I've never touched them and these are just gonna go into the trash. So the first ones I'm going to show you are my a small sample of my, um, not these two yet, ColourPop collection lippies. These are all the Disney collections. I do have another collection in my vicinity, but these ones I want to show you first. Oh, not these two either. So these are the Disney collections, so they have to deal with like the Disney princesses, princes, and villains. I did have another color. It was Ursula. But when I opened it, it broke. And when I tried to repurchase it, it sold out. So these are the ones I have. Um, and I do love these. These is the um, creme lip liner. I mean, lipstick. Look how pretty that is. It has villains and it's a pretty red. Um, this is what the princess would look like. It's just a straight matte. And then these are their Luxe Lips. So they were very soft, a really good liquid liner. Next we have the MAC Selena Collection. So this is, I'm Como La Flor. It's a pretty red. And Dreaming of You which is a nice burgundy color. Love these. I did purchase the Selena Collection pre-sale. I am gonna try to purchase more of her lippies when they drop on Tuesday. I'll keep you updated if I do, and then I'll do like an unboxing of that. Next, we have the Kathleen Lights Collection with ColourPop. Kathleen Lights is one of my favorite YouTubers. If you wanna go check her out, I would highly recommend it. She's hilarious and she's really fun so these are her two lipsticks this is what is your sign it's a nude and then we have scorpio moon look how pretty that is so pretty this collection i'm kind of nervous about showing because it is controversial i mean i do like the lipsticks um i'm keeping them so if you want me to do a video about these lipsticks and I don't think I'm going to show you them in this video, but if you want me to talk to you about these lipsticks, feel free to let me know. And just to let you know, I am going to put all the prices um, and links to these items down below. If you have any questions on where to find them and whatnot, that will all be down in the description box. You can't really see all of the rest of my lipsticks, but I went through them. And I decided, yeah, I'm not getting rid of any of them. But I did realize I do have some minis that I can put. I just saw you. Yeah. So I have these minis that I'm going to put into my bag with all the other minis. So this is Marc Jacob um, Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. This is birthday suit from the from Tarte, Laura Mercier Rouge Essential, and NARS Cruella. So I'm definitely keeping these in my little bag with all my other travel size. Um, but yeah, a lot of these lipsticks I do use, I do touch them. Um, 
some of them have sentimental value like this one. Uh, my best friend and I for my birthday, she booked this appointment at the Bite Beauty Lab. So this is a lipstick that I actually created. Still has the smell of coconut. So this is really meaningful to me. God, my nails look so bad. I am so sorry. Um, but I will repaint them tomorrow sometime. But yeah. So here's my not so so declutter. Next we have are my setting sprays or like my priming setting sprays. So you can see I have a lot. Oh, I'm forgetting one. Yeah, that one's not open. Um, so let's get started. So we have the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. As you can see, I have four of these bad guys. Um, this one is almost empty, so this one I will be keeping out. The rest of them I am gonna put away because since I haven't used them yet, um, I did get them just as backups because I do run do this a lot as you can see i also have a travel size what i normally do is i keep my travel size original bottles and buy the bigger ones to refill them so that way i'm not constantly buying big bottles or little bottles i can just be buy the bigger bottles and still use them when i'm not traveling so this one will be going into my travel makeup bag or like where all my travel stuff will go it doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be going with me for travel, but like if I want to bring it with me, I can. So these would go into storage. This I'm going to keep. Next, we have this Cover Effect Illuminating Spray. Honestly, I'm going to see if one of my friends wants it. And if not, then I'm just going to toss it. I'm not really into illuminating sprays. I'm more into like setting my makeup flat sprays. So if none of my friends want this, toss it. Next we have this Wet n Wild Rose um, Photo Focus Primer. Um, I do like this as a um, drugstore version of the Urban Decay um, Quick Fix and the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. Um, so whenever I'm out or if I want to do like a drugstore look, love this i also like the coconut one i don't have that i just have the rose one so that's a keep these two are keeps except this one's going into the travel bag so this one will stay out love this one i do like this because it has more of a coconut smell that i would recommend now we have the max prep and prime mix fix plus i do love my fix plus um I do have the travel size, so that will go in my travel size bag. The only issue I have with this bottle is I can't refill my little one. So I'm going to see if I can find another bottle once I run out of this um, and then refill this little guy up. So that way I'm just bringing travel size items instead of my full bottles. So in the travel size should go. So this is the Kula Makeup Setting Spray, and it does have SPF of 30. I do like this for when I am about to go out. I just spray this after I use my tried and trues. That way it's not really messing up my makeup if I'm going to be taking pictures. So I do recommend this bad boy for if you're going to be going out for like a long day or you're just going to be out at the park. I do throw this in my bag so that way if I need to touch up my makeup, I have it definitely will be repurchasing this. Repur I will be purchasing this because I did get this in my Fat Fit Fun Box. Um, if you guys want to see an unboxing for my Fat Fit Fun Box, I, am, I do have a subscription for it. Um, just let me know in the comments down below. The last, oh, I was gonna say the last, but it's empty. The Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. Um, it's a hit or miss for me if I'm going to repurchase this or not. I do like it, it's more of a setting mist but I, I don't know I'm just so used to the all nighter setting spray that I don't know it's not something I gravitate towards so this is going into the trip so much for watching if you have any other video ideas that you want me to see or want me to do it's late um but yeah leave your comments down below what you want me to see in the next video um like I said if you have any um if you want to see my, I do have a Sephora order coming in Wednesday. I think I have another order coming in too. But if you want to see my unboxings, just let me know in the comments down below. 
I probably will just shoot them even if you don't want to see them solely because I need to I I feel like that would be content that I mean that's something I'm interested in and I think you guys would be interested in that as well so yeah I will see you guys in the next video